Hey guys, today we will create this fantasy illustration that I'd like to call the exploring girl. Now before we start, you can go ahead and download the brushes and colors below. I also attached the sketch file in case you will need it. If you like these YouTube tutorials, you can support my channel and access more tutorials and pattern only brush packs on my Patreon page. You'll find a link to it in the description below. Without further delay, let's begin! I'm using the canvas that is 2500 by 2000 pixels. And in the beginning, I will change the background color into the first one from the color palette. Then I'll pick the first color from this row and monoline from calligraphy. If we check the settings, we can see that the streamline is set to max and minimum brush size is at zero, so we could draw very thin lines if needed. Now I'll set the brush size to around 12% and start drawing the girl's head. It is half turned, so we can see it like this. And on the left side, it will go this way. Let's draw a simple ear. Create a shape for the hair on top, close it and fill it with a color. After filling, we can fix some small imperfections using eraser and brush. If you find it difficult drawing like this, you can use the template I attached under the video and paint over it. Well, I will select this dark violet color and create a layer above the head to draw some details. The brush size is at 4%. Let me move it closer and I will draw simplified lashes like this. Fill the shape. Also draw an iris this way. And fill it. Right now we are drawing a cartoon style, so the eyes are a bit bigger than they should be. I will also draw the visible part of an eyebrow above this eye. Close the shape and drag the color into it. Well, to draw the second eye, I will flip the canvas, just because I feel more comfortable drawing in this direction. And also, you can flip the canvas from time to time while drawing to check the proportions. Let me connect it. I will edit this arc and fill the shape. In this eye, we won't draw the iris, because it will be closed. I'll draw the eyebrow at the same height as the other one. And fill it. Now when the canvas is flipped, I can see some imperfections in the face shape that I couldn't see before. Of course, I will correct them with the eraser. Alright, it's better now. I'll create a new layer and pick pure white color by double tapping on the color disk here. Paint this corner. And after that, we can flip the canvas back as it was. Let's merge these two layers 
and create a layer below the head. I'll pick the first color from this row, increase the brush size a little, and draw the neck. It will look like this on the left side. And at the bottom, I will connect these two lines with a curve. Let's also close the shape on top and fill it with a color. Let me pick this color in the middle and create a new layer above this one. I'll draw a t-shirt that will go this way on top. Here, I will repeat the back shape. And at the bottom, I will make it more curvy. I'll connect it. Let me fix it a little. And I will fill it with the current color. Now let's add shading on it. For that I will alpha lock the layer. Pick this light shade on the left. And sugar brush, in which I changed only one setting. That is grain scale. I set it to 15%. This brush will be attached under the video. I will just highlight the left side slightly. Then I'll go to the layer with the neck and also lock it. Highlighting it slightly on the left side. After that I'll switch to this color and make a cast shadow under the head. Now I'm going to the head layer and locking it. Using same color, I'll darken this half of the face. This way we are giving a hint for the nose shape as well. When it's done, I'll switch to this light shade. Reduce the opacity, increase the size and highlight the opposite side of the face the following way. Now let's make the size smaller and highlight the ear a little more. Ok, this is also done. We can merge these layers and create a new layer to draw a spyglass telescope. First I will grab color in the middle and mono line from brushes. This time we will be using a horizontal symmetry. To make it work, I'll go to canvas, enable the drawing guide here and click edit drawing guide. In the symmetry options I will select horizontal. Well, I'm lucky cause the guide is exactly in the middle of the eye. But if you need, you can move it by dragging the dot up or down. I will make the brush size 2% and draw a line with a small angle. Connect the lines here and on this side I will draw an arc. If it turned into a line, we can fix it by clicking edit button and picking arc from the menu. Let's drag the color inside it.
Before we draw the next section of the telescope, I want to reduce the layer's opacity a little and create a new layer, in which I will activate the drawing assist. So we will draw the other section starting from this point and making a line with the same angle. Here I am drawing an arc. And because we decreased the opacity of the previous layer, it's possible to see how the arc looks. On this side we can draw a line, because it will be hidden anyway. I'm feeling this shape too. Let's do the same with this layer to draw one more section on top. Creating a layer and getting it assisted. The line will go to the right like this. Here comes an arc. And on the opposite side it can be a line again. Let's also fill this shape. I will reduce the opacity of this layer to draw the last part of the telescope. Create a new layer and get it assisted. Here we will draw the following way. Start from this point. Make a short line. Connect them here. Then draw another line with an angle. A tiny line from here and finally connect these two with a straight line. Let's also fill this one. And now we can get the opacity of all these layers back to shade each part. I will remove the drawing guide because I don't need it anymore. Before shading, let's draw the lens on a separate layer below this one. I'll grab this violet and draw an arc this way. I will edit it a little. Connect the invisible part and fill it. Let me alpha lock the layer, grab this color and soft brush from airbrushing. Ok, let me make the size smaller and draw on the right half. Now we can proceed to shading. So I'm going to the first layer, locking it and deselecting drawing assist. I'll start with this color on the right. And I will be using the modified sugar brush. I will make it full opacity and the size around 17%. Drawing on the lower half of the shape. Changing the color into this one on the side and shading the edge more. Then selecting light yellowish, first adding reflected light at the bottom and after that drawing on the upper half. Picking this dark shade again to add the cast shadow here. Repeating all the same steps on the next layer. Deselecting drawing assist, locking the layer, picking this orange and painting the lower half. Switching to the dark color, drawing a bit lower. And with this light color, drawing on the lower edge. And on the upper half. Also making this shadow. 
Now you already know what to do. Pick the color, lock the layer and deselect drawing assist. Shade in the lower part with two colors. Add in reflected light and highlight on top. Let's not forget about the shadow. And here comes the last part of the telescope. First shade in the lower part. And add in the light yellowish color here and here. After this work is done, we should merge these layers. Go to transformation and rotate the telescope a little. Let's move it closer to the girl's eye. This angle is perfect. Now that we have the telescope ready, we can draw the arms of our character. So I'll grab this color we used for the skin and create a layer above the telescope. Let's select monoline from calligraphy set for drawing. And I'll start from here. Maybe increase the size a little. Let's define the fingers. Then it'll go down like this on both sides. From here we can make a line using quick shape. Also edit it if needed. And on the opposite side I will make a longer line, like this. Ok, now let's draw these horizontal lines. Here I will round it. I'll define a shoulder. But we don't have to be very accurate, because we will draw a sleeve on top of it. Let me fill it, and after that I will fix all the imperfections. After that we can draw a sleeve. First I will grab this color and create a layer above the arm. I will make it go this way on top. Then draw an arc from here. That will go lower than the arm. And connect the shape on the side. I picked this color only to be able to see what I'm drawing. So after I fill the shape, I will fix it, because I like my lines to be always clean. And now I will simply repaint the shape into the t-shirt color. Let's pick this light color and sugar brush that we used for textures. I'll decrease the opacity and brush size a little. 
alpha lock the layer and highlight this area on top of the sleeve. Then I'll pick this orange and go to the layer with the t-shirt, which is already locked. Shade this part under the sleeve. Well, let me adjust the hand shape a little bit with a razor. And I also want to add a shadow on the telescope that comes from this hand. For that, I'll go to the layer with the telescope, grab this color and sugar brush. I'll just paint this way. And now we can go ahead and shade the arm. So I'm locking the layer and selecting this light beige color. Let's first highlight the fingers on top. Then grab this color, make the brush full opacity and shade the right side of this part of the arm. Switch back to light shade and draw on the edge slightly. This will be the reflected light. Then reduce the opacity and highlight the arm here just a little bit. Alright, let's draw the other arm. I'm creating a layer below all layers. and changing the color into this one, selecting monoline. I'll first draw a curve for the hand and then continue with a straight line that I will edit to match with the curve. Here comes one more line. Now let's connect them on top and draw a horizontal line with a small angle, like this. Connect the invisible parts. And fill it with a color. After that I'm going to create a layer above. Change the color into this orange. And draw the sleeve. I'll make it this way. Close the shape and drag the color into it. Alright, now let's shade this arm. I'll grab this color and sugar brush. Go to the layer and alpha lock it. Make the brush full opacity and the size around 20%. Painting it like this, starting from top. And I will paint this area entirely. Now let's pick this color and draw on this side of the arm. Then I'll go to adjustments and select bloom in pencil mode. I will apply it on the blue area. Then slide to the right and try different settings until I like the glow intensity. 
So my final settings are the following. Bloom 70.8%, size 20% and burn 60%. They can be different at your end. Just stop when you feel it looks as you want. Now let's pick this color and apply it slightly on the opposite side of the arm. Let me see how it looks and I can say that I like it. We can continue working on the rest of the drawing. For that I will create a new layer at the bottom. Pick dark violet and monoline brush. Let me make the size around 20% and I'll start drawing a curvy shape from this point. I'm making these curves not so big on the side. And from here I will draw a bigger one. And one more here. Continue drawing to close the contour. After that fill it. Let's check if there is anything to be adjusted. Ok, I'll fix this small curve. And grab a razor to make this one match with the t-shirt shape at the bottom. The rest of the shape looks fine at my end. I just want to add a few side small shapes. I'll draw a novel here, fill it, then some bigger shape on this side. And also fill it with the color. Let's make this side parallel to the hair shape. That's it. We can also draw a small circle here. Of course you can come up with your own design. I'm just giving you ideas. And I will draw one more shape at the bottom to balance all sides. Dragging the color into it. The base is ready. Let's start adding details inside it to make it look like space. I'll begin with adding gradient with this color using modified sugar brush. Creating a layer above this and clipping it. Let me set the size to maximum value and draw on the lower half of the shape. I will decrease the opacity and soften the transition here on top. After that pick this lighter shade and paint the lower part more. If we apply Gaussian Blur we will lose the texture, so I will preserve the initial look. Well, the background is done, let's add a few elements on top of it. I'm going to pick this violet color and monoline brush. Create a new layer for the first planet. 
simply drawing a circle here, not a big one, tapping to make it perfect, filling it with the color, and I will move it a little this way. Now let's go to eraser and set it to 6B compressed from charcoals. I will make the opacity 75% and erase the right side of the circle. Then pick this color and same brush that we used as an eraser, that is 6B compressed. It actually has a very cool texture. I'll alpha lock the layer, lower the brush size a little and make it full opacity. First draw on the left side and then on the right edge. Before applying bloom feature, we should unlock the layer. Now we can open adjustment section, pick bloom and select layer mode. Again let's find the best combination of settings to make it glowing. Mine are the following, bloom 90.9%, size 34%, burn 44% and I always keep transition at max. The planet is ready. Let's draw a comet here. I will be doing it this way. Using the color we had previously selected. Going back to monoline. Creating a new layer and drawing a circle. Making it perfect by tapping and filling it after that. Let me move it a little bit to the left. And now I will draw the tail. Drawing a line. And another one this way. I will connect them here. And fill. Let's go to the layer and alpha lock it. Grab this violet color. I'll make the size 100% and paint the comet's tail this way. Let's apply Gaussian blur on it moderately, just to blend the colors. Then grab the eraser that is set to 6B compressed brush. And I will start erasing the tail here. Then continue on the edges. Let's make it full opacity and go around the edge. I'll make the tip of the tail almost invisible. And erase the edges a bit more. After that unlock the layer and go to bloom. I will apply it on the layer again. Let me slide it to the right and then I will adjust the size and burn values. The ones that work best for me are bloom 75.2%, size 21% and burn 40%. I'll grab the eraser again, just lower the opacity and erase it in the direction from the tail, applying low pressure on the pencil. Now it looks as I wanted. 
Let's add one more planet here. With this color on a new layer. Ok, we have monoline selected. Let's draw a circle. And fill it. Then select eraser and erase the lower part of the circle. For the last planet, I will pick this dark violet color on a new layer. Let's go to my space set and here you can find plenty of stamps. I'll pick Saturn. Make the size 22% and tap. I will duplicate it to make it less transparent and merge these two layers. Let's find the best place for it, somewhere close to the edge. I will pick this light color, create a layer above this one and clip it. Select sugar brush. Make it full opacity. I'll highlight the left side gradually, not pressing on the pencil too much. Then select eraser set to monoline and erase the color outside the round shape very carefully. Switch back to brush, lowering the size to 7% to paint the lower side of this ring. After that go into bloom and apply it on the layer. I'll slide to the right to 22.2% and then set the size to 9% and burn to 30%. Now we can merge these two layers. Drag it down and it will get clipped to the base layer. The last thing I want to add here is the stars. So let's pick this color and create a new layer. Grab monoline from brushes. I will tap inside the space area with various brush size. Not too many of them. Around 10 to 15 is enough, I think. Some of them can be tiny. I'll stop here. Duplicate the layer. Click on this layer and apply Gaussian Blur on it, around 9%. After that merge these layers. To emphasize the shine, let's go to Bloom and click on Layer. I will move different sliders until I find the best combination of settings. So the ones I will keep are the following. Bloom 72.8%, size 24% and burn 52%.
In addition to that, I will change the lace blending mode to add. You can add more space elements at your discretion. But I will stop here. And you can save your work as it is. I just want to show you one more thing we can do to change the drawing. Let's duplicate this layer. And just save it in case you will want to go back to it. Then I will open adjustments menu and select liquify option. Here I will pick twirl right. Pressure and distortion are at their maximum values. And the size is set to 39% for now. I will go around the edge slowly, making stops. Let's try a smaller size. Or try to make it bigger, like 47%. I think this works even better. So when I tap and hold, the hair is getting these random curls. Looks quite cool. So you can keep either this version or the previous one. And at this moment, the drawing is complete. If you enjoyed watching this tutorial, make sure to give this video a like, subscribe to my channel and check my other videos. You can also access more Procreate videos on my Patreon page. You'll find a link to it in the video description. Thank you for watching and see you later.